What is going on beta lovers? It's your boy High Tech, and today I'm going to be going over the sniper class setup that I am currently rocking on the Black Ops Cold War beta. Now with the level cap the way it is on the beta, we are currently capped out at level 25, so we only have access to one sniper, and that is the Pellington 703. So for today's setup video, we will be going over the Pellington, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the class setup. So here's the class setup that we are currently rocking on the Black Ops Cold War Beta. Of course, we start off in our primary slot. We are running the Pellington 703 Sniper Rifle. We do have it level max, so we have all attachments that we've been given for this beta. And we'll go ahead and look at the attachments that we are running on the Pellington. The first attachment we start off with is the barrel. We are currently running the 21.7 Overlord Barrel. It gives us a 15% increase to fire rate and our trade off for that is, is we get a decrease of 15% to the idle sway control. Now we head on over to the under barrel. We are currently running the patrol grip which gives us one pro and no cons. That pro is we get a 5% increase to sprinting move speed. Now heading on over to the magazine we are currently running the 7 round mag. I did give a lot of these mags a try but the problem with a lot of these mags is that they actually decrease ADS speed. and. I wouldn't recommend, especially the way the time to kill is set up in the beta, I wouldn't recommend putting on any attachments that actually decrease your ADS speed because you want to be able to get that scope up just in time to at least get off one shot before that time to kill really catches up with you. I would recommend putting on your, your sniper is either to have the fast mag, which the, the downside to having the fast mag is it only starts with five bullets, so you catch yourself reloading quite a bit but then you have the seven round mag that I'm currently running and that gives you two additional bullets so that maybe they way you you know maybe you'll need an extra bullet to uh, recover from a hit marker which this gun definitely does a lot or maybe you just need an extra bullet or two to keep a, a streak going on or maybe a go on clip going on so having those two additional bullets I think it really is a must for the sniper especially with all the hit markers that you get with this gun one con being a 40% decrease to reload speed. You really don't notice the decrease to reload speed, uh, especially with the perk gung ho, which we'll get into later uh, and talk about. So I would definitely suggest running the seven round mag on your sniper. Onto the handle, we are currently running the task force rear grip, which gives us a 10% increase to aim down sight speed. And as I was talking about with the, the magazines, uh, any increase to your a ADS speed, you 100% one because you just want to be able to get that scope up just in time to get off a shot before the time to kill really catches up with you and the only con to this is it gives you a minus 10% decrease the sprint out speed which I don't really know what that does but I do know what ADS speed does and it is a must have on these snipers in this beta. And the last attachment that we are currently running on the Pellington is a stock, and that is the Duster Pad Stock. It gives us no cons, but a major, major pro, and that is a 30% increase to slide speed. Having this 30% increase to slide speed is like a must, must, especially with the way it looks like Black Ops Cold War is set up this year, because I don't, I'm sure you guys notice when playing on maps like Satellite, when you slide off of those little ledges and rocks, you get a significant speed boost as you slide slide off the rocks and it slings you a good like four or five feet when you end up sliding off those rocks. That speed boost coupled with this slide speed is actually really, really crazy and it can get you around the map really quickly. Now for my secondary, I'm currently running the missile launcher and the reason why I have this on is just to take down any score streaks that I, I, I may have to as well as it also reduces my chances of just switching to a pistol or a secondary of somewhat to get pick up easy kills kind of forces me to use a sniper more and and try to really perfect the sniping that black ops cold war has to offer the tactical I'm running is stim shot lethal is a frag grenade and my field upgrade is a sam turret now with perks we'll currently go down to the wild card and we are running the lawbreaker wild card and that what that gives us is to be able to equip any weapon class in either slot, which really isn't important with this class setup. But the main importance of Lawbreaker is equip multiple perks from one perk category. That's the main kicker for Lawbreaker and the reason why I'm using it. Now we'll go back up to perks and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about with the Lawbreaker wildcard. As we look at our perk one, perk one is currently tack mask. And the reason for that is I'm sure as all of you guys know is the stuns. So having tack mask is really a must for this beta at least because stuns seem to last pretty long without it. In the perk two slot, we currently aren't running any perk two because we're using the lawbreaker wildcard. We are running two perk threes. And the reason for that is we are running gung ho, which helps with firing our weapon and using equipment while sprinting 
and move at full speed when reloading, which I was talking about earlier a little bit with the magazine and the seven round mag. So being able to move at full speed with the seven round mag, even though it decreases your reload speed by 40% using the seven round mag, moving at full speed while reloading you really don't notice it too much with gung-ho so gung-ho is definitely a must on the sniper and then we threw on with the lawbreaker wild card we threw on ghost because with the way skill based matchmaking is there is so many uavs that my announcer is constantly saying multiple enemy uavs above so having ghost on to stay off the radar i think really is a must have so guys, that is the sniper class setup that I am currently running on the Black Ops Cold War beta. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to come along on my journey through this new year of Call of Duty, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. It's been your boy High Tech and I'll talk to you guys later. Team Deathmatch. Okay. Okay. Spy plane available for tasking. Counter spy plane ready for deployment. Kind of snapping. Don't know what I was doing trying to pick up that gun. I think I was trying to contextual tap it, but I think they took that setting out from the alpha. I was literally trying to pick up the Remington and I need a hold apparently. That shot was disgusting. Dim, no scope while mid stim. Not even kidding. And I hit somebody. I'm streaking right now. I hit marker to end it, man. Oh. Just a little bit more consistency from this. In terms of like, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that was pretty close to the chest area that they want to hit. This, this slide stuff is a little bit disgusting. Victory See ya. Is In Cada Barrio, Oh, come on. That should have been a clad ender. Jump shot didn't help you, my guy. Okay, we got a nice little streak going. No! Okay, we're on a little streak. Guys, UAV or something? Maybe? Guys? 
I was on a 13, and then you wouldn't believe how I died. Hit marker. That's probably one of my best streaks. Big stun, baby. You thought. See ya. What are you getting for son of me? Yeah, if I got triple that data, I would probably retire. What? In what world? Uh, yeah, I, get, I only get that at the start of the rounds, though. Fucking sweaty, bro. Jesus. <laughs> 